like absolutely demonic like another reason why i don't like children Ugh. Ugh. can you see it can you see it that's disgusting i want to read it if you're looking for mpreg this is the story for you hi friends i am on the brink of mental collapse so why not share all the books i bought recently due to my birthday some of these are gifts some of these are gifts to myself some of these I just bought because, um, I don't know, I'm trying to justify it. Uh, just stay up for why this video will be separated by genre. So if you are looking for a particular section, feel free to skip around. No hard feelings. Let's do romance. Right? Romance sounds fun. Let's do romance. So, romance wise, first book I picked up is The Cinnamon Bun Bookstore by Lori Gilmore. Um, the pumpkin spice one is in the mail. It has not hit me yet, so hit me. It has not arrived yet, but these are part of the Dream Harbor series, very endearing small town romances. So I wanted something a little sweet, a little cozy. Small town romances usually hit that for me, except a novel love story. The more I think about it, the more angry I get. Anyway, if you watch Love Lauren, you. Oh, me and Lauren have the same opinion about that book. The more I think about it, the more angry I get. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to this and the Pumpkin Spice one. The next one I picked up is Archer's Voice. This is an annotated version, which I thought was very nifty, very fun, very fun, interesting, and fresh. Um, we follow Brie in the small town of Pelion, Maine. She is drawn to Archer who is strange, silent, and isolated and we don't know the reason why but as she investigates further we get to understand why Archer is the way he is and the history I believe of the small town that they reside in. But yeah, I thought it was interesting that the author annotated this version um, and I love the cover. Not gonna lie, I really was really drawn to this cover so. <laughs> did you know, I did not know that it is what it is is a Ryan Gosling. Thing. I did not realize that. Anyway, not related to Ryan Gosling in any way or in capacity, but the next book I picked up was Leave It to the March Sisters. We follow Amy, and this is kind of a retelling of her romance of, you know, of the famous little women's story. So I'm really interested. This is a modern retelling. We follow Amy as she kind of has a bad luck bad string of dating and begins getting really interested in her sister's friend i think his name is theo in this story so I, this is no shade to the author in any capacity but this is giving me fan fiction vibes and i love fan fiction so i was like you know i had to like you know so i'm really looking forward to reading like a modernized retelling of her story. I also picked up The Pairing by Casey McQuinston. I am very interested in their writing. I read Red, White, and Royal Blue. I really loved that. One Last Stop I really enjoyed as well. So I was like, this seems fun. And okay, high key again, this premise is like straight out of like fan fiction for me. This is like such a common trope in fan fiction of like, two spurn lovers getting back or being forced in the same area and being forced to reside in the same room and kind of having a bet and like all the, like all like the elements are fanfic like when i say fan fiction i mean this in like a loving like i love fan fiction so i say it in a very endearing and um, loving way not in like a sh like shady ass way you know you know what because I'm on the brink of mental collapse all the time lately. Let's do horror because I bought some horror books to feel something. I just need to feel something in my heart. So, I like true crime. I like like retellings, stories based on like movies based on a true story type of stuff. I like that. Um, so when I saw The Exorcist, and I saw this version, which was like absolutely demonic. Like another reason why I don't like children. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Hopefully this gives me the ookie dookie gabagookie vibes I'm wanting. Then I had to pick up obviously a T. Kingfisher book. And this time I picked up 
a house with good bones and this was very interesting um i hate birds <laughs> what more can i say i hate birds so a horror story revolving around birds i believe and um a kind of maybe possessed mother who is not really their mother you know kind of story i'm all in for it um hopefully this will give me the ookie doogie vibes as well i hate birds like ugh, that cover grosses me out <laughs> speaking about things i hate i also picked up brain worms <laughs> um but i like no no reason besides the cover because i was like that's disgusting i want to read it so I hope this is as disgusting as I want it to be and it gives it like I hope it makes me feel something inside it's so gross looking okay, come on guys after reading fairy tale I realized I do not read a lot of Stephen Stephen King books so I was like I need to pick up some classic Stephen King books and I picked up Pet Cemetery and The Shining. I saw this in Marissa's fall TBR video, so I had to pick it up. I'm very interested in Pet Cemetery. Obviously, I've seen the film, so I've not read the book, so I don't know if this would be better or worse or, you know, as same as The Shining. A film, films, films I really love, but not necessarily have read the books. Um, the thing about Stephen King's writing, like, I love the films It. I like the remake and the original. But like, if you have ever read the original It, you're just some like, some of those things were questionable, and I know like maybe, like I can't even justify it being like in my like I like uh, anyway like the weird childhood orgy thing to cement their loot like it was just like unnecessary and weird. So sometimes in Stephen King's older works, I'm just like, hey, you know what? Let's do the indie books I got. Or not indie books, but like indie bookseller books I got. I got. So Heartbound Books is a local pop-up bookstore in my area. If you are in Southern California, you can follow them on Instagram. They are opening up a physical store, I believe in Santa Ana, California, if you want to support. But they also do a lot of pop-ups at local events and I stopped by there and I picked up The Veiled Kingdom. Um, honestly, this is why I picked it up. I don't know. Like, I should have like legitimate reasons for picking up books. But like, I picked this up when it was 100 degree weather outside and they were inside a booth. They were so sweet, so endearing, very helpful and kind. And I was like, you know what? Why not? I don't care. <laughs> say what you will <laughs> i will read it it's not a question of if i will read it it's just like was this a book i needed to pick up right away no but i wanted to support and it was cute okay it was cute i got no shame <laughs> and another book i got from there was a blind date with a book type of thing um i don't know if this video will be up before my vlog but i did do an unwrapping of the little blind book thing because they it's so cute they give you a free bookmark they go out out on like the wrapping for it and like ugh, it's so cute anyway the book i ended up getting was caraway of the sea this is a sapphic pirate romance and i was like sign me up guys it sounds so fun and like grumpy sunshine you touch her you die it's sapphic romance they're both like Ugh. anyway i almost threw off my glasses right there if you just saw that but i'm excited do you guys remember borders i can't be the only one that remembers borders how they saran wrapped every book that drove me nuts because like i want to read the summary and sometimes the summary would be on the inside and you couldn't even read it because it was saran wrapped <sighs> anyway but i saw this book which is saran wrapped and that is after school etude if you could actually see it after school etude um it's saran wrapped i got it because i was like oh they're they're absolutely adorable and this is about dancing and two unlikely characters being teamed up for i guess a show a practice run a competition oh 
I was gonna just be like, why are they saran wrapping this one? But there's actually a like explicit content warning on the back that I just never pay attention to because got this. I thought it was cute. I think this is a duology. I don't they didn't have the second one so I didn't pick it up, but I will pick it up if I enjoy the first one. They seem like adorable. I mean come on guys. Come on. Anyway, speaking about two boys in love. I also picked up book six of the Husky and His White Cashy Zoon. This is a uh, light novel. This is a translated work based on Meat Bun Does Not Eat Meat's work. Um, <coughs> this is book six. I have the other books. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I really like this series. It's not for everyone. There is a lot of graphic violence, violence sexually, physically, mentally, but there's a lot of endearing parts and I just really enjoy it. You know, it's just like, like come on. I also picked up this Disabled Tyrant's <laughs> Beloved Pet Fish Volume 2. I picked up the first one because the uh, bookseller who showed me the first volume told me this was a wild ride. There's a lot <laughs> of uh, circumstances that make you have to believe, like suspend your belief in reality. But if you're looking for MPEG and like, you know, this is the story for you. So I got those at Barnes and Nobles. And then from Crunchyroll, I got Goku Rakukai. Goku Rakukai. Goku Rakukai. Anyway, I read this, I read this digitally on sh the Shonen Jump app. And I really like this series. I really like the main character. I like our female like partner mentor figure. I really like all the characters in here and I like the action, the artwork. It is a shonen so if you know like typical shonen stuff it does follow a lot of the similar beats about a... I don't want to say down on his luck but like a main character who isn't given the best circumstances, the best cards in life and him being picked up by a mentor figure and trying to solve an overarching story while handling the day-to-day -day tasks of reality so i really like it you can read it free i just picked up the physical copy to support then 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 i picked up fear and beyond journeys and volume 9 and 10. i really like this series i've been very vocal about liking this series i like the manga i like the anime so either way you consume this story i think you'll be in for a great time and i want to to basically like complete my collection even though I'm still missing seven speaking about completing my collection I also picked up the apothecary diaries part part 12 volume 12 this one is obviously a beloved series I love I really love it I really like the manga I like the anime the light novel is also amazing as well so whatever way you choose to consume this story you will be in for a great time <laughs> look I already read father I don't want to get married but the fact that the fiscal copy full color too is getting released at Barnes and Nobles I had to pick it up I gotta pick it up guys <sighs> I think y'all know I'm a simp for the dad in this story. I don't even care. I have no shame. That man could get it, okay? Nice. Um, but yeah. This is a great light novel, Minghua. If you want to get into more romance style Minghua, this involves regression and a interesting male lead who's kind of a cindere but also a simp and a female lead that is very like endearing and smart and kind of like very relatable at times and obviously a hot dad so it is what it is i got no shame i didn't realize they're coming out the physical but mimi picked up this book and ever since she picked it up i cannot stop thinking about it even though i've already read all of it i just had to do it <laughs> i don't know i just had to do it <laughs> in that similar vein i picked up under the oak tree i read this digitally oh, and this also comes in full color look at this this book it's hardcover i love it anyway i'm getting like <sighs> you know but this also comes full color 
if you are familiar with this story you really know like oh how much i love this story i love a grumpy kind of sunshine character so if you're looking for like grumpy sunshine this is a really great story a female character who at first doesn't really have a voice any self of agency or self-worth and over time building that up through the story her finding a place for herself in the world and like just like the love and endearment that these two have for each other and them being like so unlikely but also when you get to know them like you're like oh, this, this, this. okay anyway i could go on forever about this but they have the physical you can read this digitally as well i've already read the digital and the uh, web novel um i also pre-ordered the web novel even though i don't i don't need it but i wanted the physical okay i just want it I don't know. But yeah, love this. This is volume one. This is great. I love it. I'm sure you guys will love it if you want to check it out. This and then Father I Don't Want to Get Married are really great romance ones. Ugh. Ugh. Can you see it? Can you see it? I bought almost all of the Dungeon Meshi mangas. Um, I'm missing 11, but I'm in love with this series. I'm going to get a tattoo of Lyolis. Um, it's a flash cartoonish drawing. I'll show you when I, when I get it eventually. Anyway, um... <sighs> I love the anime, I love the manga, I really relate to Lyolas, how he interacts and feels in the world, and I love this story. So I wanted to get the physical because I've already read the digital, and this is something I could see myself rereading, especially since it's a comfort read for me right now. So I got the physical, I got a bunch of them on Country Roll with a discount, so technically like three of them were free with a discount, technically compared to if I bought it at Barnes & Noble, but you know? Look, some literary fiction books I got this time around this haul are some that I've been looking out for and I finally was able to find the physical copies. And then one of them is Exit West. And I have been seeing this author's quotes around the internet. I'm sure you guys have as well. And I finally found a physical copy of one of their books. So I was like, I'm gonna jump into it and check it out and see, you know, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just looking forward to reading it. I also picked up Hard Boiled and <laughs> Hard Luck by Banana Yoshimoto. Um, This is supposed to be a, a book about a person who finds happiness while they are experiencing a lot of despair and honestly um this is something i'm going through right now so i thought you know what maybe i can relate to this character and i could relate to their struggles and find hope in the way that they do so yeah this is obviously another translated work so excited to be reading this i think this is my first banana hoshimoto book as well and next one is will prescribe you a cat this is also another translated work I got it solely for the selling tagline, which is cats are always the perfect cure. No other reasons, no notes, nothing, <laughs> no other reason, you know? So, um, was I a little reckless? Yeah, because maybe I won't like this. I'm not familiar with this author's writing. So, but you know what? Why not explore? And it's also about cats. So like, the last literary fiction book I picked up was Mina's Matchbox. This book is described as a masterpiece, a rare work of patient and courageous vision. And I'm not very familiar with this. I know it takes place in 1972, somewhere in a coastal town of Japan. So yeah, I have like nothing to say because I don't know what this is exactly about. I picked this up on a whim and you know what hopefully i won't regret it i am trying to read a lot more translated works so why not <laughs> oh we're finally towards the end guys we got one more section we can do this we can do this the first fantasy romantic book i picked up this is i think the only ya one as well it is wisteria this is the third book in the Belladonna series. Um, I'll be fully transparent. I did not really enjoy Belladonna or, oh my God, what was the other one? 
Foxglove, I believe, is the second one. I, I'm at that point where I'm just reading this kind of spite. <laughs> um, it's just not for me. I think that's what it is. It's just not for me and that's okay. And I just want to finish this series up because I've already committed so much of my time to it. So like, you know, um, if you guys are ever follow, if you guys ever follow like the fantasy or suggest me a book reddits, The Lies of Locke Lamora is always recommended. I have never read this. Um, and I quite frankly have never really thought about picking it up, but I kept seeing it. So I was like, you know what? I just want to see what this is all about. I also love how floppy this book is. Anyway, <laughs> so this will be fun. It was also um, buy one, get one 50% off because I was already picking up Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. It was on the same table. So I was like, I'm just going to give it a shot. And I've always see Elantris and I just never have picked it up. I think this is one of his earlier works. Have I made any progress on rereading the Stormlight Archive in preparation of, I think it's called Truth, Storm of Truth, Truth and Wind? Truth and Wind? Um, no. Stop it. Get some help. The next book I picked up is one of my most anticipated reads for 2024, and that is Somewhere Beyond the Sea by TJ Klune. This is the sequel to House on the Cerulean Sea, and this follows Arthur's story, and I'm very interested. I, cause we like get to know Arthur, but not really. So I'm like, I'm intrigued. Why did he date that one guy? Um, that was part of the agency and like I believe we follow the events after the first book and some things come into question about Arthur and his ability to take care of these you know orphans so I'm looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to revisiting all the like lovable and daring characters I really need that right now um, I just need something to root for <laughs> that isn't gonna throw me into a pit of despair so this is obviously one of them. I also picked up The Crimson Crown. This is the retelling of the evil queen from Cinde no, Snow White's story. Yes, so <laughs> Snow White's story. And I really, I don't wanna say like I loved Malice. It was not one of my favorite books, but I still had a good time. And I really do like retellings. So I was like, you know what? I'll just pick up The Crimson Crown um see if i really enjoy this and then how i feel about this particular book will dictate if i continue to pick up books from this arthur going forward but yeah it's not like the writing is terrible in malice it's just like i think it was marketed as an adult fantasy but it felt really ya to me like it did not feel like it was marketed or categorized correctly and it was not it just wasn't for me i think the last book I picked up in this haul is A Song of Ash and Moonlight. This is the sequel to, I believe, A Crown of Ivy and Glass is what it's called. Um, no, no, like, I don't know what else to say. It's a sequel to a book I vaguely remember enjoying, kind of liking, but I don't know if I loved it. So I probably will reread that and then go into this book just so I remember everything that happens because it's been a while, but I mean, it's a cool cover. <laughs> I mean, is that, should you buy books based on the cover? Absolutely not. But you know, why not? I feel like this would be a really great either like winter or spring read. I feel like that's what the first book was giving me. And I think this might be almost dropped it wow. well friends i hope you guys enjoyed this video i have a lot of books that i need to organize and put away um obviously you don't need to buy books to enjoy reading as a hobby you can there's a lot of resources that you can use to access books for free i am just very fortunate to have the funds and have family and friends to give me these books as well so let me know if any of these books interest you guys. I am probably going to start rereading Dungeon Meshi again, to be honest, just because I really want something comforting to read 
If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you would like, I don't know, I don't know, like, leave, leave whatever emoji you want. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Anyway, <laughs> all right. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.